Hi, in this video, we're gonna get into nudging. So I'm gonna select a clip here, and I'm gonna do one of two keyboard shortcuts to do that. If you have a full-size QWERTY keyboard with the numeric keypad section, you can use the plus and the minus key to move that clip forward and backward. I'm moving it currently by the nudge value of 500 milliseconds. And normally the nudge value, which can be found at the top of your edit window in Pro Tools, it corresponds to whatever your main counter is. In this case, it's bars and beats in my main counter, but I switched my nudge value to uh, minutes and seconds. So I'll go to bars and beats, and I can nudge this selection, this clip, in eighth note, sixteenth note, whatever value I choose to move that um, clip. So I'm gonna go to a quarter note, we'll minus will move that selected clip ahead by a quarter note and the plus key will move it back one quarter note per time. Another uh, way to do that is using the period or comma keys on your keyboard. Same thing, comma moves the clip forward or to the left and period moves it to the right. And if I extend that to the next two keys, in this case M, and forward slash, that uses the next higher nudge value. So right now I'm nudging <clears throat> with the comma and the period at quarter note, but the M in the forward slash will move that note or that selected clip uh, by a half note. So here's M, there's a half note nudge, and there's forward slash a half note nudge backwards. So this example, I'm nudging an audio clip. I'll go down here and select a MIDI clip, I can nudge MIDI, or I can switch it over to MIDI notes view, and I can select a single note and nudge that if I'd like, uh, one note at a time, or you can grab a range of notes and use the same keyboard shortcut, I'm using comma and period right now, to nudge the selected notes forward and backwards. I can also do this same thing with volume automation. In this example, I've got some volume automation that I want to nudge one way or the other. Maybe I'll move my nudge value to a smaller increment. And the shortcut to do that on a Mac is Option, Command, Plus or Minus. That will allow me to change the nudge value. And on a Windows machine, it is and now I've made the selection over the volume automation that I want to nudge forward or backward, and I can move that volume automation forward or backward. I can also nudge a selection. Maybe I don't want to select a clip. I want to move just a selection. I can make a selection anywhere, and I can move that selection as I choose. Again, same shortcuts, minus key or plus key on the numeric keypad section of a full-size QWERTY keyboard, or comma and period on a smaller keyboard. Both of them work if you have the large size keyboard. Now one difference here, if I make a selection that is uh, large enough to uh, capture or enclose a, an entire clip, as I move that selection or nudge that selection over that clip, it's gonna pick that clip up and move it. I'm gonna use the minus key and once the clip is fully encapsulated in that selection, it now moves along with it, which sometimes you might want to do, other times you might not want to do that. Maybe you just want to move the selection without moving any clips. Hold down the shift key and use the same keys, minus or plus, and that will allow me to nudge the selection without picking up any clips within it. And that should apply to MIDI notes as well. I'm gonna bring that selection down and let's see if we can do the same thing with MIDI notes. Yes, so far so good. Yeah, so I'm moving the selection and again, the shortcut is shift, minus and plus or shift, comma and period. Whoops, let me make that selection again, shift, Oh, no, that doesn't work on comma and period. All right, I learned something new. So that moving the selection without picking up clips only works with a full-size QWERTY keyboard holding down the shift and minus and plus keys over there on the numeric keypad section. I can also extend my or nudge the, the, the size of my selection. So shift option on a Mac will allow me to nudge the... Uh, selection amount, the front edge of it, uh, by the nudge amount. 
I can make it shorter or longer selection and shift command on a Mac will allow me to extend or shorten the back end of this selection. All right, the last thing I want to sh <clears throat> show here is the ability to um, nudge clip gain. So I've added some clip gain here. And one thing I should point out here is that the clip gain line is visible. If you don't see the clip gain line, you can do one of a couple of things. Right click on the clip and choose clip gain. And of course, my option now is hide line because my clip gain line is visible, but uh, it, would, it would appear as show line if it's not. And I can nudge the automation, the clip gain automation, um, by holding shift control uh, and plus and minus. And I can move that clip gain automation, that dynamic clip gain automation within a clip, which sometimes is quite handy as well. So that is nudging audio clips, MIDI clips, MIDI notes, automation. We demonstrated volume, but it applies to any automation that you might have on a, a parameter, a plug-in parameter, a panning, sends, whatever. You can nudge all of those values. And of course, last, what we just showed is uh, nudging clip gain. Thanks for hanging out.